It's 2022, the 31st of July. I've seen all these like 3D modeling challenges across YouTube and I, I, th I think that'd be quite some fun. So when I see this video called Moving Meditations 3D Community Challenge, there's no doubt in my mind, I want it. So I get to thinking, all right, well, what can I do? So the premise is you're basically given an animated rig, and you need to make a character for the rig, and you need to create the setting. Um, so of course I decided to go with Futuristic City, because that's what I was into, and I still kind of am. Yeah, so I, I, start, I start with that. I start blocking stuff together, I make this little... It's meant to be some kind of like restaurant thing, but I went with like made it really boxy because I thought that would fit the style the best. I gave it some like noisy texture. Yeah, so I start blocking out these places. I make like a wall because I realized there needs to be something in the like horizon. Uh, I start creating these pipes. I think I struggled with those the most because um, I didn't really know how to do pipes and I still kind of don't. Um, but yeah, I, I make these pipes everywhere. I assign these materials. I make these cool little like street lamp things, and then I decide I want like banners everywhere. So I I, I make some graphics. I did a holographic like banner thing, which I think kind of worked. I kind of also try to incorporate Tetris. I made the character who was kind of like this just like android thing, like this entity of of the future. Yeah, so I made them like a Tetris bend or something. So they had like Tetris powers and then I felt like it needed more color so I put like a little panel on the side. It, yeah. Um, well, it hit the deadline. August 28th, 1159 AM PST. Uh, 2022 of course. I, I I somehow wasn't done by then. I was on a call with one of my friends because I realized I couldn't render it in time. So we're up at like really late at night and uh, I submitted it a bit later than the deadline. So it wasn't technically original. 2023, 5th of February. There's another one. It's called the Endless Engines 3D Community Challenge. I'm I'm immediately like, you know, yeah, I'm doing it again, and I'm going to get this. One. I'm going to get it in on time. I'm going to be so proud of this thing. I start brainstorming. I come up with this idea. I, I decide, all right, I'm going to look at the word engines in a different light, not just vehicle engines, but 3D modeling engines. So <laughs> I get to work making vehicles based on the different 3D modeling engines that I knew about. I, I, I got a whiteboard near, near the time, so I used that for planning. I made, I made like, the for Blender, I made it like this plane. I thought I could use the logos, like these kind of like, interesting looking wings, and also the like, tail thing. Uh, and it would have like the eye that's kind of like in the Blender logo. I, I'd have that at the front, and it's going to be like orange, of course. Uh, I was experimenting with like the ideas of having like screens on the side. For Cinema 4D, I thought it'd be really cool to have this dramatic, like, spaceship rocket thing. Maya, I decided it would be cool to have, like, as a motorbike. Houdini was this, like, it's like a submarine excavator. But yeah, and then there was Nuke. I was nowhere near done by the deadline. <sighs> Maybe it was because I was creating all these other videos. But by the deadline, yeah, I was nowhere near done. Thirtieth of July, twenty twenty-three. The boss fight three D community challenge announcement was here. Failed the year before. I wasn't gonna do that again. I was gonna come up with a great idea and I was going to finish it. Right? It would be a nice, nice, clear, simple. I, and it wasn't done by the deadline.
four months ago. It was the 4th of February, 2024. There was a new 3D community challenge. It was called Eternal Ascent. This time, I didn't really care if I got it in on time. I mean, I really, I really wanted to, but I mostly wanted to make sure I had a finished product. I, I started drawing my sketchbook. I had a couple ideas that I was looking at. I'm gonna just quickly get an image so I can remind myself. The premise for this challenge is this animated rig was going up the staircase. You had to replace the staircase, the character, and once again, the backdrop. This time, I was putting a lot more focus into making sure though that my idea made sense. I had a couple ideas. It could be, it could be, um, this like place where they're creating like these robots. There's this guy going up the stairs and he's going to like talk to the boss or something. Like maybe he's quitting, uh, cause like there's something wrong with it, with the stuff or whatever. I could, I could do this thing with like a bunch of screens everywhere. No, no. I could, I could have it in like an arcade machine, you know, Wreck-It Ralph style, and there'll be like this guy walking up these like stairs and they'll be like changing the characters to show like them switching through the different like character options in the game. No. Oh, it could be this guy's like walking up to like this place, maybe it's like a, into, into like an aircraft of sorts, and it's like Operation Improve or something, and there's like these little camps and it's like this little like town in a in a forest area like Gravity Falls-esque and then there's like um oh these like little like android no not little they'll be like giants yeah androids that are coming and like re like renovating the entire town like but like they're being destructive about it yeah yeah and they oh they can be the ones from like my moving meditation thing it could be like all connected and they could fall down in Tetris pieces yeah yeah some yeah something like that so I started like plotting stuff the world like what would what would the um what would like the bad guys be called? Uh I went through a couple names like Tekchen or something. I wanted to do something about like action or something that was like urgent, I don't know. Um and tech, whatever. I eventually landed on action tech, which later I found out was actually like a brand, so it probably wasn't a great idea, but uh Hey, a AT could stand for anything. I think I actually changed it to adaptive tech later. I was thinking, what could I call the overall piece? I had a couple ideas, like maybe Regretress? Yeah, and I was gonna have like, please evacuate on like the billboard or something. One of the parts that I thought would be kind of interesting, how will I make this entire forest? I pretty much knew I was gonna be using geometry nodes. But in the end, I ended up being able to make like a generator that gave me like how many unique trees I wanted, but a limited amount. So I created like five to eight tr different tree types. And then I created a geometry node setup that just scattered those like five to eight different trees. The other hard part, of course, but actually probably the harder part, but I didn't realize at the time, was making the actual town. So I created the road that wasn't too difficult. I created like a little sketch thing and then I mimicked that. But it was mainly making houses because I wanted the houses to look nice. And uh, some of them ended up just looking a little bit <laughs> funky. But others I actually like really, really liked. I knocked out the stairs pretty quickly. That was like the first thing I actually got to doing. The mountains were kind of slapped together. Like I didn't really know how to go about making mountains, especially since this was near the end when I was kind of running out of time and I'd kind of forgotten. Uh, so I kind of just made like these weird shapes and put a subdivision modifier on them. It, it could, it turned out fine, I guess. But aside from the lighting, which was also quite tricky near the end, I found the actual hardest part was creating the character. Dang was rigging hard. It was getting really close to the deadline. I still had quite a lot on my list to do. I had like a thing set up on my phone that I created near the start to try and manage my time. It kind of stopped working like 
halfway through, probably a bit earlier. Blender was just not letting me rig my character. It probably didn't help that my topology was terrible because I made all these subdivision surface modifiers and then I like applied them and then it had like a million faces and then I tried to like clean it but I did it like really badly eventually. So uh, the deadline was there. I was not finished. Yeah, I, you probably expected that. <laughs> But I did kind of still want to have a finished product, so I worked in it, but eventually I gave up the rigging. And sometimes if something's not working, <laughs> you need to cut corners. So I chucked him on a hoverboard, added a little bit of noise, like parented him to the hoverboard. Added like this effect underneath it. <sighs> yeah, here, here's the final result. But screw it, it, it's something, and so I'm I'm calling that a win. All right, subscribe.